Hello everybody, Simon here. Okay, so we've had a little upgrade on this uh, Tarot ZYX equipped flybarless helicopter and that is the cyclic servos. It's goodbye to the Hobby King uh, DS929MG servos, the $6 servos, and hello to the Innolab D202HB servos. And uh, yeah, a couple of things. To get the right geometry with the uh, rods, they fit outside the frame with their lugs, as does the back one. I don't know whether this shows because the camera doesn't do close-ups very well but there's a little spacer in there it's the arm off a HXT 900 wedged in there and that gives me a nice vertical um, elevator rod okay then well let's give it a little flight and see how we go Just a short flight, just to share with you the beginning of the uh, Inel Lab cyclic servos installed. I've got to tell you, they are superb. Not a hint of the uh, wet dog shakes, and it flies so smooth and precise now. Got to be. Uh, greater resolution of the servos or that they're not uh, full of backlash in the gears so yeah wow I'd... the game set at 35 it's set at the mild 3d presets uh, the dead band on the tail is reduced to 40 other than that And uh, I'm impressed. It's just about made my mind up. I'm going to do my other helicopters like this. So it's in a lab all round. A 201 on the tail and a 202 on cyclic. HGD. 202 HB is the code. Highly recommended. Yeah, no shakes in DVR. I suspected these servos might do it because on the tail, it's probably because the tail of the lad with the. There we go, with the big RC dead band on the on the cyclic uh, landings are a little trickier than with the flybar heli. So there we go. Strongly recommended. Great servos. Thanks for watching all and bye for now.